Hey guys, I have a new video for you today. Today I will install some new padlocks and this new padlock latch. I have this old latch, but this is not so heavy duty. I have been installed one of these before on another shipping container. The problem with this style is that it's open here, so it's easy to attack the lock. And you can easily cut this off with an angle grinder. And this style is much more enclosed. And all the parts here are made of stainless steel. And then it's impossible to burn this off with a torch. And I got me some new padlocks. These locks are grade 5. And compared to my old locks, it's much more heavy duty. And you can see the size difference to a regular padlock. 50 millimeter shackle. And they're also supposed to be drill proof. And they are 80 millimeters. And they have these special keys. I bought, I bought all these on the marketplace, so they are used, but the locks are in very good condition. And they're called Kaba 314. And I was almost sending one of these locks to the Lock Picking Lawyer channel here on YouTube. I think you will have a hard time opening this. And all these fittings is made of stainless steel. And you install it with these bolts. So I have to drill through the container. And these are 16 millimeter M16 metric bolts. So everything is very heavy duty made. And I will start to take off the old one. And to install a new one, you'll have to cut off this seal, so just keep that in mind. And of course you can install this any height you want, but obviously I am going to have to cover over this. Or you can have it down here, then it will be even harder to attack the lock. But it will also be more painful to open it every time. I think this is a nice height. Now I just mark the holes. You have to check the, the distance this way. So that depends where you mount this. And it's the same distance, so you can just check with this. So that looks good. I'm also gonna make the holes a bit bigger than the screws, so we have some wiggle room. And it's a good idea to use a center punch in the center, then the drill bit isn't wobbling around. And of course you have to drill through both layers. And it's very tempting to just start to drill through this one first and then the second from this side. But it takes a lot of experience to have this straight. So we will probably end up with the holes on the inside a bit of these ones. So then I will mark both sides before I start drilling. And these bolts are 16 millimeters, and I would prefer to drill this with 18 millimeter to have some room to adjust it. And you can easily drill this just with a battery drill. The problem with these drills is the chucks is this checks only takes 13 millimeters as the biggest. So then you need a drill bit that is, has a step down. But I'm gonna use this type today. This is a step drill and it is even marked with millimeters. So I'm gonna stop at 18 millimeters. 
with this style you, ha you have to pre-drill you can't just start with this as big as this one then you ha would have to start with a smaller and step up and you do get this one in different sizes so i'm actually going to use this one today it's so easy to over drill with this style It's always a good idea to use some cutting oil. Just double check to see that I'm at the right height. And the nice thing with this step drill bit that it countersink the hole and they don't get any sharp edges. You start with the next step a little bit so it automatically countersink the hole. I just drill from the inside. It did came with these plates. These are so sharp. And even this one, so sharp. So it's almost like you cut yourself. So I'm going to use a flap disc to smooth this, all these edges down. And before I tighten this down, I want to add some sealer to prevent water coming into this tube through the hose. During the winter time, the water can freeze up and that's destroy the tubing. And now everything is nice and waterproof and I will paint over this once this is cured. Okay, so now this is installed and this is a so nice upgrade to a storage container. And it's so easy to operate. And now you can't attack the lock with bolt cutters or grinders. And you would give the thieves a hard time cutting through this. I will paint this later this year. But you don't have to paint this. This is stainless steel so it won't rust. And you can use this as a hanger when you're inside a container. And then it's impossible to lock, lock the container, so we won't lock anyone in. So that's another nice security. I 
I just like that. Okay, so now I just have to clean up the rest. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.